just thought I'd do a brief video um, while the light's still good. Um, I was a dancer decades ago. Uh, we're talking 1980s, pre-1980s. Uh, not professional, but uh, I'm on a list of adult ballet dancers. I'm, I'm intending to go back to class myself. Uh, have been in and out for the last few years anyway. Um, and that's Sasha, my cat. He's, he's licking my, my shoes for some reason. So um, I was just going over my, my uh, all the ballet shoes I have owned and uh, dug up this pair. These are Capizio Contemporas from the early 1980s, maybe even earlier. I don't know when they started making them. But I used to buy them because they had the broadest box that I knew was available at, at the time. They used to make uh, point shoes really, really pointed. And not all of us have really, really pointed feet. Uh, of course, that's been remedied now. But um, I never deshanked these, but I sure beat the heck out of them. There's not, nothing much left. This, the box really collapsed. Uh, the shank is still still pretty good, but the box is the box is shot. I can't wear them anyway because they're too small now. So uh, there's some antique point shoes, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a cold. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm, I have an interest in strengthening my feet because I, I want to get back on point. Um, I bought these shoes, and I'll, I won't give the name of them because I don't like them. Um, they have, they're soft ballet shoes, but they have a slightly hardened sole. Very cushy, but rather thick. Uh, a thick heel, too very uh, cushy heel and a formed um, formed heel area which you don't normally see um, they're supposed to help strengthen your feet but my experience is that they don't fit closely enough for that and also the shank is not or the sole is not thick enough to really challenge your foot uh, so I, I just thumbs down on these. Um, I will use them at home though. Um, what else have I got here? That's the other one. <laughs> and these were block. And uh, I generally don't like ballet slippers, but these these fit very very closely. And I have not really pretty feet, and they they make them look almost pretty. Um. The thing is with ballet slippers is I always feel like I'm about to get injured. Um, my feet do get injured easily for whatever reason. I'm always beating up on them. And just the feeling of no protection. Um, I will wear these if the teacher requests it, but I'm just not... It's not my thing. Anyway, I was looking into strengthening my feet and protecting them with uh, demi point shoes or soft block. Some people call them soft block. And I had an old pair of Sancha recitals which are almost impossible to deshank. <laughs> um, I, I managed to take some of the shank out of this one. I got more out of the other one. Um, the, the shank was literally I don't know how to say it. It, w it was almost like a resin. Uh, it was uh, like in a resin locked between two layers of sole, and it, it, you couldn't. I, I had to take a, um, a serrated knife and try to get it out, and I still couldn't. So, um, but this will do. Uh, and I have to rescue the back of the shoe. This one's okay, but the other one. When I tried to go up on demi point after I deshanked it, I had already fixed this once. Oh gosh, the light is awful. There, I already fixed it once, but when I went up on demi point, it went rip. 
So I'm going to put some artist canvas back there and uh, we'll see if we can fix that. Uh, this one's deshanked a lot better than the other one. There's no shank left. But again, I had to dig through a layer of resin or something like that. It was just, it's pretty horrible. And then we get to all the gifts. <laughs> these, these happened because of these. Uh, they are the same size. They're both block. And these were literally given to me by, as a joke. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's a long story, but anyway, um, these are block toe shoes, or point shoes. They are elastic elasticized. Sasha, stop eating my point shoes. They are elasticized uh, satin. And I have tried them on. I can get over the box. Very nice, big platform. Um, no problem. The thing is, um, they're they're more for an advanced dancer, and I'm not right now. Uh, so I will not be using them anytime soon. But gosh darn, um, when I get ready, they sure do fit. So they'll be maybe in about two years. My my shoes. And then another long story, but I ended up with a pair of Capizio Arias, and these would be my first shoes back up on point. Um, they're a little odd uh, if, if you compare them. Oh shoot. <laughs> to the old Capizios, which I put down I can't find now. Here. Um, much broader uh, box. And uh, I lost the, the interior of this Capizio years ago, but um, this one's got kind of a suede inner sole. Boy, there we go, okay. Kind of nice. And uh, heavy shank, pretty heavy shank on this one. Let's see. No, not, not so bad, not as bad as the, uh, the Sancho was. Yeah, so that might be okay. Let's see how how soft these are. Yeah, these are actually no, no. These these would be the first ones I'd wear back on point. So uh, that's my collection. Kind of weird the way I came about having it, but um, in the next few years I'll be using these shoes, and uh, hopefully I'll have some news for you in about a year. <laughs> Thank you for watching.